Alright, so I know there's always one, some of you guys out there who watch these uh, crazy videos by these uh, crazy YouTube addicts. Cough, cough. And you're always wondering, how do they do that? And they're always like, wow, they're standing somewhere where they're not, or they're doing that green screen stuff. Well, it's not that hard. So, um, I'm going to show you how to do a green screen. So, first of all, I'm going to show you. I got, uh, I got this little. Um, Actually, no, I'll zoom the camera and I'll show you. So, I'm going to paint this slightly. I'm going to get a little blanket over it. Now, this is a horrible green screen. Because it's got these, uh, let's see if I can focus. White polka dots on it. But, uh, let's see if you guys can find like a green blanket where you can buy cheap green screen off eBay for like 15 bucks. And free shipping. And so uh, all you need to do is you know, find somewhere to put it and you know, make sure it's all straightened out. And then the wrinkles. And, uh, this is a pretty wrinkled sheet. Alright, so let's uh, do a little demonstration before I hop on over to the computer and show you how it's done. Alright, so once you do all following steps, you'll get something like this. You should be getting close to the same results afterwards. Yeah. Oh, if you're going to want to open up Adobe Premiere Pro CS3, by the way, this is another computer. So, no, I did not reformat the other computer yet. Anyways, uh, let's uh, slow the updates later. New project, uh, let's go green screen with a K. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna start. We're gonna go to uh, pictures. I'm gonna go to uh, today's date. I'm gonna download. I downloaded some of these off the camcorder. And all right. So first off, I'm gonna. See which video is which. Alright, that's that. Okay, so we got to uh, drag that over. That is the video that is going to be. That's the introduction video, so we don't care about that, and we're not going to green screen that. And then we're going to take, this is the video we're going to green screen. So we're going to put that into video 2. Alright. And then, when you put that into video 2, you know you're going to want the video that's going to go on top. So let me see if I have anything decent. Got this on 1900 by 1200 resolution, so Camtasia is having a hard time catching up with my mouse. Uh, I think we're going to have to repeat that clip a couple times. And you know what? Why don't we just add a couple more clips? Perfect. Trim this up a little. What the hell happened? Alright, whatever. So now we're gonna delete some of this audio. 
unmuted audio alt clicking and then I'm clicking on the lead alright so now what we got is uh, we got our introduction video and then we got the uh, video that we want to green screen and they're on top of each other the two videos that's not what we want we want green screen. Now I have a horrible green screen with little white polka dots as I said so this might not turn out very well but what you're going to do is you're going to select the video that you want a green screen go to video effects, go to keying chroma key and then go up here to effect controls go to chroma key and select the little dropper tool and come over many different shades of green, we're just going to make this hard just going to drag the similarity ah, alright so drag that over a little more Alright, so we have uh, somewhat. I think we need to drag the uh, similarity a little more. And sort of, we want, alright, back off on the similarity a little and add some blend. If you're getting some scatter. And I had a horrible green screen, but hey, these aren't bad results. If you get a smoother green screen, you'll have better results. Let's see that again. And again, you want to mess around with the similarity and the blend to get these smoother edges. For example, I drag the blend up a little and so that it's not cutting into my hand. And I get, I get it a little smoother. Just mess around. messing around until you get it perfect although you're not going to have very good results if you have a very bad green screen so once again you need a smooth green screen with no wrinkles or anything and you want something that won't have any drop shadows or anything alright thanks for watching and goodbye